Hello! So today is January 1st, which means that I have exactly one month until my residency applications are due. And I am so excited to tell you guys that I will be applying to two separate specialties. Uh, I'm going to go for vascular surgery and general surgery. One of the things we have to submit with our CARMS application is a headshot so that the residency programs can use that to kind of talk about us and use it as a memory aid as they rank us and discuss our application. I had grad photos taken about a month ago. So this is like the classic grad photo. This is probably what's going to end up in the yearbook. And then these were all kind of like the other photos that were possible headshot contenders. I think my main issue is when I look at this photo, I don't really feel like it looks like me. And even if I only wanted one digital portrait, it's $150. So I'm going to go do my hair and makeup and we are going to try this again. The pajama pants will be staying on. Baby. Okay, so this is the photo shoot setup. I've got this light here creating like some warmth on the wall And then I've got my ring light here kind of around my camera and then my camera is just behind it over here and We've got like a nice plain background and then the most important part is the camera operator right here behind me aka the boyfriend who I have tracked Alrighty photo shoot is complete. I have crazy eyeballs in this one. Look at this compared to normal Crazy. Normal. Crazy! Okay, after some careful review, I have five main contenders. Alrighty, which headshot for CARMS? Options one to five. Create poll. What the heck? So I think this headshot got the most votes. This was not on my checklist originally. I just added it because I spent forever getting that photo today. And now I'm gonna check it off. In other news, uh, let's check on the status of our reference letters. Yeah, so far two reference letters have been uploaded. The top thing here is like my CV, and then two letters, and then like my med school report card is down here. All these orange ones are people that have not submitted my letter. I just went through and read about how many programs are offered in Canada. For vascular surgery, there are seven residency programs that I'm eligible for. I'm not fluent in French, so I can't apply to the French schools. And then for general surgery, there are 14 schools. Okay, so I am finally, 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 finally sitting down to start drafting my personal letters. And it's not like it's going well or anything, but I'm pretty proud of myself. I have sort of figured out an introduction and like a hook that is going to work, I think, quite well for both vascular surgery and general surgery. And it ties in my like musical background really nicely with surgery. So super excited. I'm going to have to send it out to some friends and family for them to read. Um, they might be like, yeah, this makes no sense. What are you talking about? But hopefully it works. So there's this publicly available PowerPoint from University of Ottawa, just kind of outlining everything for the CARMS application. And in terms of their personal letter, they have this really nice like suggested outline. You don't have to follow this, but it's a nice starting point. So I've just been working on the hook, trying to captivate the reader's attention with a personal story or vignette, which I think I may have accomplished tonight. I feel like these personal letters are kind of similar to writing a dating profile. Like you want to be cute and funny and you want everybody to like you, but you don't want to be like too full of yourself or too narcissistic. I just spent the last hour and a half, hour and a half looking at the CARMS match statistics. I don't know why I did that. I just wanted to stress myself out for no reason and torture myself. But basically for both general surgery and vascular surgery every year, there's like a ton of people who apply and then a much smaller proportion actually get into that specialty. Hello, so it's 1.45 in the morning. I stayed up and worked on one of my personal letters. The funny thing about personal letters is just when you think you've gotten it perfect, you send it off to a friend and they send back edits that look like this. Keeping this blurred for obvious reasons, but um, like all this stuff on the right are edits. <laughs> So at the start of this whole CARMS process, and ever since I started to think about what specialty I wanted to pursue, I have been pretty adamant about convincing myself as well as convincing others that I love vascular surgery and general surgery equally, 
but it's um, interesting to see that I have dedicated pretty much all of my effort towards my vascular surgery application and I've really prioritized it during this time. And I think this is like my subconscious telling me that what my heart and soul truly wants is to be a vascular surgeon. Okay, I made this big ass spreadsheet of all the things that I need to upload for CARMS. Alrighty CARMS, let's start finding some programs that I want to apply to. So these are the programs I have selected so far. There's a total of 18 and seven are vascular and then the remaining 11 are general. Okay, so now I'm gonna pay $750 to get rejected by a bunch of programs. Quick update on the spreadsheet. Things are looking good. As you know, green means that the document is signed, sealed, delivered, and it is uploaded for the program. So a lot of green, which is nice. So this is my general surgery spreadsheet. That's how she's looking. Still got a lot of programs that I need to get my stuff together for. Okay, people, I finished my last personal letter for, drumroll please, vascular surgery. Ooh, look at that satisfaction. This is a bag of all the personal letters that I am finished with. And then over here is all the gen surge stuff that I need to finish editing for tomorrow. I do not know why I am like this and can only find the motivation when the deadline is like, this close. I'm pretty tired. I spent 11 hours in the ICU today prior to coming home and starting this work, so <laughs> I'm surprised I have any brain cells left. Okay, this is the moment. Ah! Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, <laughs> my one application that's been submitted, so beautiful, a million more to go. Mmm, nutrition. I love Cheetos. Big shout out to my parents and my boyfriend for sitting with me today for seven hours to edit my CV and all of these personal letters. It was a harrowing experience. We are slowly making progress. Do, do, do. Just having a sushi break and then we'll get back to work. I can see the finish line. The finish line is near. Even if I like gave up on myself and didn't finish like the last few programs, I would be pretty happy with what I've applied with too so far. Slowly getting there. Oh my gosh, you guys, check it out. I have one more application. Last application to submit. Ah, I'm nervous. We just have to do it. Okay. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> so beautiful. I could cry. Oh my gosh, we did it. Whew. It's 11 16 i think i'm on track for my midnight bedtime i'm about to start a zoom meeting with jennifer we're going to review each other's applications and just make sure that we aren't hallucinating and ensure that we've uploaded like all the right documents to the right programs and hopefully by having another set of eyes it's just an extra layer of security Alrighty, that's a wrap officially have submitted all the documents and all the things and CARMS is out of my control now, <laughs> for better or for worse. So interview offers have come in. I have them up here on my computer. Um, they came in on Friday, today is Sunday. I needed a moment to process because <laughs> I was a little surprised. I don't know why. I feel like when people talk about CARMS, 
they really talk about match day. They talk about like where they matched or if they went unmatched, but there's not a lot of discussion about everything in between and prior to that. Um, in terms of like interview offers, even applying, like writing personal letters. I don't know, I just felt like a lot of this felt a little foreign to me. And for interviews specifically, I thought everywhere would offer me an interview. I guess that's maybe a bit naive of me to say, but I've spent the past four years basically like trying to cultivate an application that shows that I'm strongly interested in vascular surgery and general surgery. And despite those efforts, there are programs out there that didn't even want to talk to me, didn't even want to get to know me beyond the paperwork that I sent them when I applied. I feel like that rejection really stings. I'm trying to just, you know, think about the future and focus on being a strong interviewee in the next coming weeks. Ultimately, I hope that I'm able to find a program that genuinely wants me and feels like I would be a good fit. And I also want to find a program that aligns with my own values. Yeah, if I'm being brutally honest, I was really sad on Friday when I got rejected from a few schools that I thought were really excellent programs. But I'm thankful that I have, I think, like a, a decent number of interviews and I, I still have options. So yeah, that's the CARMS update. So I have been practicing for interviews quite a bit. I'm quite happy with the setup. I did have a plant. Ultimately, it looked a bit weird on the Zoom screen, so just in the corner there for now. The last thing I want to do is test out my outfit, make sure it looks okay. Sometimes colors look weird on Zoom and just the way you're framed it can look a bit awkward. So gonna get changed, make sure that looks okay, have it all laid out for tomorrow so that we can be relaxed and don't have to stress. Okay so this is outfit option number one. I feel like the high neckline with this strong cutout looks a bit awkward on Zoom. So I'm gonna try a different outfit. Okay, this is option number two. Oh, I also don't like the way this looks. In person, this doesn't look that bad, but on Zoom, this shirt looks like super low cut the way my body is framed. This is the final outfit. So underneath my blazer, I have two lucky charms. Ta -da! Got a pin that is a set of loops. And then on this side, I have a little scalpel. Uh, they're kind of serving two purposes. You know, I'm kind of manifesting like, oh, I really want surgery, but they're also just holding my shirt down like flat to my bra so that if I move around, the shirt doesn't loosen and like reveal any cleavage. So yeah, that's the plan. You know what I just realized? This is literally the exact same outfit and pretty much the same hair. Hair's a little longer, but like same style as what I did for my med school interviews. The photo's really small and it's hard to tell, but basically like that same polka dot shirt, same blazer, same like half up, half down. I'm not gonna wear my glasses because the ring light looks terrible on Zoom with like the reflection, but otherwise, your girl has not changed. Good morning, it's eight o'clock, just having my coffee. Um, my interview login time is at 8.20. I'm not too nervous yet, but I know like as soon as I get in there, I'm gonna be like <sighs> Oh God <laughs> I just finished my first interview. I don't know if I want to laugh or cry uh, It was a lot more casual and a lot more chill than I thought there was one like situational question where I was like, oh Frick, I don't really know what I would do Overall, I think I was well-spoken I don't know. I don't really know what they're looking for. I think I showed my personality. So we'll see. We shall see. Good morning. It is day two of interviews. I have to say after I got the first one over yesterday, I don't even feel nervous anymore, which I'm like, is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Have I stopped caring? I don't know. Okay, so I just finished that interview. <laughs> This interview was so short. Um, the actual time for me to answer questions was 10 minutes, 10 minutes, and it was this panel and it was just like nonstop. They're like, boom, 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 boom. I feel like I blacked out a little bit. I think I answered their questions. Um, I said I wasn't nervous, but then when I spoke, I forgot how to form words. So that's great. Um, yeah, but that's over now. <sighs>
man, these interviews are terrible. I feel like you never feel like you nailed it. You're just like, oh, why am I like this? And the more you like think back to it, you just cringe. You know, like after you've had an argument and then you're in the shower and you think of like all the great comebacks you could have said, that's pretty much the sensation of reflecting on interviews. Okay, just finished my interview. That one was probably the most consistent with the practice questions that I did. So they asked stuff and I was like, I have actually thought about this, so this is great, thank you. So I actually feel like pretty good about that one. I feel good about the content. The interviewers were so friendly. After every answer, they're like, that's a good answer. And I'm like, you're so nice, thank you. So yeah, gonna go enjoy the rest of my day. Got a social later on and then we will go from there. Morning, it is 4.15. It's absolutely freezing in my house right now because the heating schedule is not primed to be ready at four in the morning. So I actually have two interviews today. Um, the first one is vascular, the second one is gen surge. It's been nice that the way my schedule worked out and the way my interviews like worked out, most of my vascular ones have been like front loaded and then gen surge is kind of after, but today is the one day where I have two on the same day. So I just have to be very careful to not get mixed up and talk about, you know, why do you love gen surge and accidentally answer with why I love vascular surgery. But yeah, I, I think I got enough sleep to not do that, but we, we shall see. Interview one for today is done. Um, I have three hours until my next one, so I'm gonna set an alarm. And then I'm gonna go watch The Office on the couch and lie like this so that I don't mess up my face. Part of me is like, I'm scared I'm gonna fall asleep and then like sleep through my interview, which is a very real thing. Like back when CARMS was in person, apparently people would sometimes sleep and miss their flights which is just, that would be so stressful. That would be my biggest nightmare. Yeah, I'm gonna set three alarms and then I'll get my boyfriend to call me at like 9.30 to make sure I'm not asleep. Okay, just finished my gen surge interview. I had a lot of fun. So I might actually rank this place like higher than I originally planned to just based on how much I liked the interview. Also, we had all these rest stations in between so I nervously peeled off my gel manicure so I'm gonna have to redo that. Whoops a daisy, started with one nail and then all of a sudden my nails were naked and I had this pile of flakes. <laughs> Good morning, today is my last interview. It's a gen search interview, so I'm gonna go get my face ready and then we're gonna go do this thing. I have to say this entire interview period is very very challenging mentally i think because everything is on zoom and we're not traveling across the country the way we would traditionally i have so much more time which seems like a blessing but ultimately that just means that i have more time to ruminate and think about all the things i should have said in the interview and just really think about how i feel like the absolute bottom of the barrel and I feel totally underqualified to be going to any of these residency programs which I think is normal, but it's hard to live that every single day for like a month. Alrighty, last interview. The usual setup is all in place. I'm just gonna sign in, make sure I have everything in order. And then, yeah, then it's sweet freedom after this until match day. Got my hands on my hips, just power posing to lower that cortisol, increase that confidence. We got this. I'm free! We are done! Oh, oh my gosh. Help me. <laughs> I'm having an identity crisis. That last interview, they were just asking me, you know, why general surgery and why do you want to come here and what are your plans and hopes and dreams for the future? And you know, you always have to sell it, but I think somewhere deep down, your heart and soul knows what you want. And that just felt so genuine. And now I'm like, oh crap, do I want general surgery? I don't know what I want from life. I just want to be happy. 
Hello, so I'm currently making my rank order list for CARMS. Um, I'm gonna make a list, my boyfriend's gonna make a list, we're gonna discuss, and then we're gonna come up with a plan together. So far, things that I care about is like the program and then the city. Okay, so my rank order list has been submitted, and as you can see, I put vascular as sort of the top chunk, and then the bottom is general. Hello again, I'm here in bed with my laptop, still working on my rank order list. Oh my god, this is just like the biggest decision of my life, so no pressure. Hello, so we just received an email about going unmatched, as well as the supports that are available. Match day is fast approaching, it's currently Friday, um, and match day is on Tuesday the 12th. Um, I've thought about going unmatched a lot, and I think my brain kind of chooses to be in one of two categories. Some days I tell myself, like, there's no way I'm gonna go unmatched, it just, it doesn't seem possible after these four years of hard work. And then the other part of me thinks, oh my god, like if anyone's gonna go unmatched in my class, it's gonna be me. You know, there's nothing remarkable or special about me. Why would a residency program choose to rank me highly? So that's challenging. And then I think, you know, the other thing that is hard is the stigma that's attached with going unmatched. And I think, you know, that starts from within and it starts with ourselves. Um, I'm still very much of the mindset that going unmatched would be a really big failure. It would be a huge disappointment, you know, for myself, as well as for all of my mentors, as well as my family. Um, but that's not the reality, you know, going unmatched doesn't reflect that I'm a bad medical student or I'm going to be a bad doctor. And it's obviously not the plan A route. But it's also not a failure, it's just a really, really big speed bump. So I'm trying to shift my thinking that way, and I hope that the way that I choose to celebrate April 12th, as well as how I choose to share this journey of the CARMS process, uh, at a minimum doesn't increase the stigma associated with going unmatched. So. Yeah, anxiety and stress is very high, but all there's left to do now is to wait. Good morning! So today is April 11th. It is pre-match day. Um, I am very stressed. There's like 26 hours until I find out where I match, um, but today is important and special because if I went unmatched, I will also find out today by about 12, 1 p.m. from my faculty. I've been meditating twice a day to try and manage my stress levels, but my stomach is still doing like somersault every single day. Um, but yeah, I think like ultimately I'm just looking forward to having some idea of what my life is going to look like for the next year instead of all of this uncertainty, which is what I've been feeling for a long time. So fingers crossed, I'm cautiously optimistic, but even if I go unmatched, I think the silver lining is I will know that and I'll be able to move on with my life and really come up with a game plan. Okay, so it's 12 o'clock. No phone calls, no emails, nothing yet. So, so far, no news is good news. <sighs> if I don't hear anything, I think by like 4 p.m. today, then I will allow myself to be truly happy and excited. Okay. It's 3.30 p.m. I have not heard anything, and I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm willing to accept that no news is good news. Um, I did email student affairs, they're like our faculty people directly, just to be like, hey, just wanted to make sure, like I haven't heard anything from you guys, but wanted to make sure that like I wasn't on the unmatched list and somehow got missed in the email, just to be super certain. So just waiting to hear back. But I think this means, I think this means that I matched. <sighs> and I only applied to general surgery and vascular surgery, so this means I'm going to be a surgeon. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot to take in. <laughs> um, but yeah, 
I, I don't want to get too excited yet. I'm happy. I'm calm. And I'm going to wait till tomorrow morning at 9am. But I'm actually really happy. Okay, <laughs> this is it. Uh, <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I'm gonna be a vascular surgeon. <laughs> Okay, so I've taken some time to process and yeah, I don't know. I think there's so much hype around match day and then it comes and you're like, oh, I matched. I'm happy, but I'm also like, oh my gosh, all these new anxieties and new stress. Um, and it's also like sad because I'm, I'm leaving all my friends. All my friends are like dispersing across the country and it feels like this chapter of life is over and we're moving on which i think people don't really talk about like the sad side of match day even if like you get your first choice specialty so lots of mixed emotions i also want to take a minute to say thank you yes you the person watching this video i am talking to you thank you for watching for engaging for commenting and putting that energy out there that has put me in a position where I feel really, really supported. Ah, today's the first day, it's happening, woo! Good morning, oops. Good morning, today is Monday, it is the start of my first week in the hospital. Oh my gosh, I start on obstetrics and gynecology, and this is just wild, you guys. Hi, I just had one of the best days. I think today was the best day of clerkship so far. I got to do so much in the OR today, which was such a highlight. I got to use the scalpel, I got to use the cautery, I got to dissect things, I got to sew deep layers of the fascia. Uh, so, <laughs> I just finished my last day of vascular surgery in Kelowna and now I'm crying. I love vascular surgery and I'm going to apply to it and I've just been like so scared because it's it's like a pretty small program. There aren't a lot of spots. We made it. Tip exam is done. On that note, I just want to send this huge message of gratitude from the bottom of my heart and thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you all again soon. Bye.